I want to build a village, but there's one problem. We don't have any kingdom security whatsoever throughout this world. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Z, what in the world are you talking about, and why didn't you say the intro? Well, hang on. I'm, I'm getting to it, I promise. But as you can see, we are out here in this field, and I really, really want to build a farming village probably over there somewhere. I actually want to utilize this field as sort of kind of like a Hyrule field type build where there's a couple of different things all around. That being said, I really want to build a farming village probably over there. But we don't have any kingdom security. And I know what you're thinking, but hold on. I'll tell you in just a moment. Until then, how is it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. My name, of course, is System Z, And today, we're building a pillager castle. Before we jump into the video, in celebration of passing 300,000 subscribers, I'm giving away three copies of Minecraft. To join, all you have to do is follow my Instagram. Link in the description below. I'll pick a winner on October 31st, so good luck. So, I know what you're probably thinking. What in the world are you talking about as far as kingdom security goes? Why do you need security throughout your village? Well, the simple answer is because of pillagers. Pillagers are definitely mean. They're not fun. However, they can sometimes be nice. Phil Ager is an exception. Isn't that right, Phil? <laughs> now, Phil told me about a specific idea that he had and that is of course to I guess fortify this entire kingdom because as you know I have a lot of projects in mind all throughout this world we've got the jungle village all the way over here which there's your glimpse of that we're gonna be building a village all the way over here and of course like I said we're gonna have a farming village over in the field that being said, I think it would be cool if we had some sort of fortress that was our kingdom security. Utilizing pillagers that have been turned from mean to nice through the power of Phil Ager. And he promised me that he'd be able to do it. So that being said, we're going to build a pillager castle today with the hopes of, I guess, hiring a whole bunch of security guards to kind of roam the, I guess, field and the kingdom. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to discuss with Phil, figure out what the plan is, and we're going to get started. I would like to believe that I alone am enough to save this kingdom if any disaster were to strike. But unfortunately, my superpowers alone will not allow us to keep this village from pillaging pillagers and zombie raids so that being said like I said we're building a pillager castle today fortunately I've already got a build style for this particular castle so this will actually be very very easy for me but step one for building a castle not just a pillager castle but any castle is to choose your location and to be honest this area right behind me is pretty nice so what I'm gonna need to do is get some resources together as well as do step number two which is outline the actual shape of the castle always do that before you build so we're definitely gonna have to do that plus clear out the trees I've got a lot of work to do so let me go ahead and get started on that and I'll see you once I've done it. So before I show you the outline of this fortress I'm gonna go ahead and give you a heads up that this is not the completed design. I know a lot of you would be like Z come on that's not a fortress that's like a, a weenie hut juniors. I know it's, it's definitely not the size of a normal castle but this is just the front because we are going to have a wall in the back as well as another tower in the corner, either there or over there. So this is really only the front kind of gatehouse of the actual, I guess, fortress area. But it is relatively a small castle because it's a pillager castle. We don't need much. But anyways, stop hating on my builds. <laughs> so this is what I've come up with. This is very familiar. Anyone who's been a fan of the channel for a while would definitely recognize it. But uh, we're essentially going to have kind of the entrance room here this is going to be the tallest tower of the castle and then of course a side area and a watch tower so this will all make sense as we build but like I said this is definitely not it it'll look amazing once it's done and if you're building this for your world you are going to love it but as you can see I've pretty much run out of stone so I'm gonna have to go smelt some more and also figure out exactly how high I want this thing so yeah, I thought I was prepared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before we continue with the build, I do have a disclaimer. Obviously, building a castle isn't just a couple of steps. One, done, boom, you got a castle. It's a little bit harder than that. 
So that being said, as far as building an outline, I should probably exactly explain how I did that. I've essentially just taken a whole bunch of rectangles and squares and put them together because that is, after all, the best technique for building a castle, at least in my own opinion. A lot of people like to add circles and other different unique shapes, but honestly, in this case, we're not really building that big of a castle, so we don't really have room to actually add those curves and angles. So whenever you're building a castle, this is kind of a sidestep or a tip, make sure that you're actually building in an appropriate portion size, or proportion, I guess, <laughs> to add curves and angles and all those extra details. But since this is a pillager castle and I'll rarely really ever come over here, I don't really want to go too much into detail. Honestly, most of this is going to be a flat surface with a couple of details in place. So, that being said, as you can see, I've actually made these cuboids now, so we know exactly what to fill up. That being said, we probably ought to go ahead and get started. Now, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me fill in these walls. However, I am going to give you a couple of building tips and tricks as I think of them. That being said, tip number one, make sure that when you are building, you collect the resources beforehand. There have been so many times where I wanted to build something and I just didn't have it. Even though I started the project, I didn't have anything. And by the time I got everything I needed, I was kind of burnt out and didn't really want to continue building. So, yeah, tip number one, make sure you've got the resources before you start building. Tip number two, if you don't already have one, create a building world where it's essentially a flat world for you to get all of your ideas out before you actually put in the survival work. Trust me, this will save you so much time and effort if you already have an idea of what you're building. My building lab is pretty much where I figure out all of the building styles before before they even get built in any of my survival worlds. Tip number three, if you're struggling to become a better builder, pay attention to the world around you. That's honestly how I got decent. I'm, I really don't even think I'm that good at building, but that's how I got decent at building over time. When you pay attention to the world around you, you kind of see more of what other people are doing. You pick up and adapt. It's not stealing, it's more getting inspiration. I can't tell you how many builders I've seen over my time playing Minecraft that have inspired me to no end. I mean, just the other day, I found a map that I really liked that had a castle in it, and here I am building a castle. It might not have looked like this, but still, I wanted to build a castle just because I got inspired. And it's raining. Wonderful. Tip number four, always bring an umbrella. Oh man. Okay. Wow. That was spooky. Lightning and a creeper. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. Tip number... Uh, here, here, I, I forgot what number we're on. Uh, <laughs> save the blending and the detail for after. As you can see, I've got all of the walls filled in apart from the front gate. And we basically have a gigantic block of stone. But that's okay. We'll be adding those details in afterwards. And that's what I recommend you do as well. I know a lot of builders who detail as they go. And honestly, that's fine. Fine. But if you're anything like me, then you can't handle that. <laughs> I like to just wait until the structure's done and then I start blending in the textures and the details from one side to the other. I think it's the easiest way to build and it's a lot more consistent that way. So that being said, I'll be adding in cobblestone, stone bricks, and probably even andesite into the stone to make it look a little bit better. But for now, we need to go ahead and get on top of one of these towers so that I can show you the next part of this castle. Step number, uh, I, I don't really know, honestly, I, I'm having a hard time keeping up with all these numbers today. We basically need to differentiate between the stone to the wood on top. And the best way to do that, of course, is by placing some tree blocks. I, I don't really know at this point. But we're basically going to create this little hashtag looking top to divide the tower structure from the actual stone base. And the easiest way to do that is, of course, by doing what you see me doing here. Now, this is also going to thicken it up just a little bit, which will help us kind of bring the tower out and make it feel a little bit more supported. So now that we've done that, we need to basically go ahead and build this up by three blocks each. And of course, we will use 
use the dark oak blocks to add a roof. Something along the lines of this. As you can see, the roof on top is a nice contrast between the stone and it has a nice little curve there that kind of goes up. We'll add a couple more details and a flag. In fact, they'll look a little bit something like this. As you can see, the details really add it all together and really bring home that pillager theme that we're going after. And I personally believe this is the perfect style for what I'm trying to achieve. Now all I really need to do is add in the rest of the decorations and go ahead and finish the other towers and we'll pretty much be complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just that. I'm also going to work on the wall and adding the other tower. I'm gonna try and essentially get this castle completed so that you get an idea of what doing all of these can actually lead to. So that being said, let me go ahead and get to work. Well, I uh, <laughs> I kind of went a little overboard. The castle's done for the most part. I still got to add a couple of decorations, but I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to finish that today because I went a little bit out of control, which is something that us builders do. But yeah, I, uh, I definitely expanded a little bit more than I thought I would. <laughs> And as you can see, oh man, just walking through this forest and then seeing it off in the distance is extremely cool. And it invites you into this field, which is a little funny considering it's a pillager castle. A little bit threatening, but I'm not going to worry about that part. Man, this looks really cool. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't really have time today to finish it. I have a lot more decorations I've got to do, and I've actually got to build the inside part because, you know, that's something we got to do. But I'll be doing that in the next episode as well as finding the pillagers and turning them into soldiers, making them peaceful. As, uh, as you know, I did that with Phil Ager, and a lot of people had questions for doing that. So I'm going to show you in the next episode how to do that, and hopefully we'll have about 8 to 10 different pillagers walking around the castle grounds. But as you can see, the inside is not complete whatsoever. I will be working on that. But as we go up a little bit higher, you can see, oh, geez, let's not fall <laughs> in the background, or at least now in the foreground, what exactly this looks like. I think it looks really cool. There's a lot of room in the kind of training grounds, as you can see. I'm going to be building target practice type areas, punching bags, and storage. Probably even some sort of horse stable unit right here on the back of the wall. Because it is a lot more expanded than I originally had planned for. So... I've got a lot of work I've got to do, but that's perfectly fine. Hopefully, we'll have this done in the next few episodes. But that being said, let me know what you think of this build down in the comments below. This is essentially how you build a pillager castle. And I do want to quickly go over the steps once again. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and build the gate. Which to do so, all we got to do is get some oak logs and trap doors. Now, this isn't really going to be a gate that ever opens for the sake of keeping the mobs inside. Because because like I said, I do plan on having pillagers running around, so we're not really going to be able to have, you know, them actually be able to open doors. Because then, we'll probably never see the pillagers again. So, I'm just going to keep this closed. We'll probably end up putting some sort of entrance, you know, eventually. Maybe we'll do like a slime block entrance where you can jump over. I think that would be cool. I think a lot of people would enjoy that. So, that being said, all we really got to do for this gate is just put some trap doors in and we're pretty much good to go. However, I'll probably end up changing that around a little bit because I'm not really sure I like it. So, yeah. I think I am going to change it, actually. Maybe we'll just move it inside ever so slightly. See, this is what it's all about. Whenever you're building, you're going to have mess-ups. You're going to have to redo it. And that's perfectly fine. That's a part of the process. You think all the amazing builds you've seen in your time playing Minecraft are done in one, you know, single attempt? Definitely not. It definitely requires breaking, placing, breaking, placing, breaking, place. That's that's like the story of my life at this point. All right, so we're going to do that, and then I'm just going to have them facing this side instead. There we go. Should be good. Now I just got to figure out how in the world I'm going to get out of here. We could probably do this trick right here, which actually we could use this to get in and out as well. There we go. Simply put, all good to go. Probably going to add a couple more decorations. That looks so much better. Well, that is pretty much all the time I have for today. So that being said, before we do go, I want to go ahead and talk about exactly how I got from the start 
all the way to this point. That way, if you are using this video to learn how to build a castle, let alone a pillager castle, then you'll kind of have an idea of how exactly I've built this. It's incredibly simple. All you need to do is create a layout. Create different rectangles and squares and mesh them together. And then build up different towers, figure out exactly which areas you want to be taller than the other. Keep in mind that castles always usually have a big tower, a bunch of small towers, and then walls. Build them up, add a couple of details on the way, and then of course add a tower on top, much like I've done here. Usually a different block choice. Now obviously it goes into much more detail than that. But that's honestly the simple steps that I follow to build castles, and this is honestly a super simple castle, so I know there's other people out there who build insane castles that are huge and beautiful, but this is just kind of a beginner castle, very simple, you can build it too, and honestly I didn't really need anything too crazy, especially for the pillagers. Don't tell Phil that I said that. <laughs> But that being said, that is essentially going to do it for today. Like I said, in the next episode, I plan on getting a couple of pillagers and making them peaceful so that they can officially walk the grounds of the castle, as well as probably doing some last minute decorations and details to really, really complete this build. But overall, that is essentially going to do it. I might even do something over here because honestly, I really like the way this looks. I think this is super cool and there's a lot of potential to do something nice over here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. That's essentially going to have to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. There's a skeleton very spookily standing in the, the, the window, as you can see. Look at him. He's, he's lonely in there. Oh, oh. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want me to look at him. <laughs> but like I said, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Already said this, consider subscribing, turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.